happiness in the city. Today's topic uh, of our reflections um, in context of uh, pursuit of happiness would be definition of command, thinking about what it is um, that the word command means. We use this word a lot. Uh, we call somebody commander-in-chief or commander of the navy so um, there's a word that defines the function of a person's relationship uh, to those around uh, that um, particular position. And we need to have a lot of sophisticated understanding about that word because sometimes people confuse the word command with other types of utterances. So here is definition of command. The first definition and I'm using Merriam-Webster and I recommend that you use dictionaries a lot. Today it's so easy. They're all on uh, smartphones, um, your computers, laptops, uh, tablets, so the access is unbelievable. And I grew up studying many languages, so um, I grew up with dictionaries. For me, uh, having connection to dictionaries is part of my being and also a great joy in my life. So I recommend that you use that word too because um, uh, that that uh, the, the word dictionaries too because a lot of misunderstandings today in social media around the world are <coughs> around um, wrong usage of words words are used uh, in an uh, in a in an appropriate way in wrong context uh, a word that is supposed to convey emotional meanings is uh, mistook as a commanding uh, order and there's a lot of unnecessary confusion over this and we need to calm down and learn the right words in, uh, in the uh, meaning that is also properly defined in traditional dictionaries. First of all, when you use the word with the proper um, definitions, then you also see many other ways in which that word can be used and you expand your vocabulary, you become uh, more intelligent in the way you connect with other people. And then you also uh, allow them to use the intelligence to communicate with you rather than anger and other negative emotions. So we need to very um, systematically come back to the um, beautiful connection of linguistic nature between people and um, to use words respectfully. Respect in uh, context of language means that we don't um, pervert meaning of words, we use words in the right way. So when we use the word command, we have to understand that it's not always just um, a word referring to government command. There are all kinds of other ways in which the word is used. And here in the, uh, the, the first definition, of Merriam-Webster is to direct authoritatively to order. Um, somebody um, knows the order of things, has authority, and then uses that uh, action of command 
to direct certain um, actions according to the uh, map of the order that um, commander follows. Uh, in this particular example, I commanded adherence to the rules. So we have a very clear understanding that command, authority and order are connected, but they are not the same thing. People can have authority, but are unable to use any directed command. Or as is often today, people have authority and there is mess around them. So they order um, uh, wrong things. They don't have a sense of order that would bring in clarity to their actions. So that we really understand we have command and that is action that is uses authority to direct um, certain behaviors, words, actions according to order that the command and authority are connected to. So we can have command, we can have authority, and if the order of things is wrong, in other words, it's just a bunch of messes, then that command will end up forcing people to behave according to those messes. And a lot of what we have today is of that nature. So we have to come back to very clearly um, envision the right order of things so that command is applied with authority to the right order of things. And often people say that something needs to be regulated and then they want to have that command to apply given authority to the rules that those regulations create. But a lot of the regulations end up creating horrible disasters and messes. For instance, we have now extremely successful technology companies that brought together the best minds from the entire world. The best engineering minds, organizational minds, people with um, tremendous love of the nature of technology and we enjoy the fruits of their labor. And they created the right order of technology, the right order of things in technology. Now, if there is command that uses authority to approve of it and bless it and reward it, things are in harmony. But if a um, situation arises in which some group of people want to uh, distort the beautiful order of technology into some sort of disastrous messes and then they force command of authority to uh, to adhere to this, then we end up with destruction. So we have to have great clarity over the nature of command, the relationship of command to authority, and then to the right order of things. When you look at the communications in social media and in um, traditional media, you don't even have discussion about the right order of things, um, the virtue of things, the, the right measure of order 
of things. What you have is promotion of some people to have access to authority in order to command orders. But if the orders is not proper and it's not right, then the outcome of that kind of command is going to be really bad. So in our political thinking today, we have to restore respect in the relationship between nature of command, nature of authority, and the right um, nature of order. It is not easy to define what is the right order. This is where people need to apply the intelligent um, creativity, the thinking, conversations, and to come up with agreements over what is the right order of things. Because if it doesn't exist, if it continues today as, um, uh, as, as irrelevant, and anything that is subject to commanding authority is considered to be the right rule of the right rules and regulations, then we'll never come out from that despair and chaos and instability that we have today. So it's very important to understand that in political vision, we have to have understanding of what is the right order of things. Uh, one of the standards that I use is to see the right order of things as in harmony with making people happy. For instance, if we have the right order of things in health, our focus is on nurture and nutrition. If we don't see health and we only see um, problems with health, which is illnesses, diseases, injuries, then the focus is on um, medications and medicine. And there's nothing wrong with medication and medicine. There is place to it, but if it becomes substitute for right nurture and nutrition, then the vision of the right order of things connected with life is disturbed. And vice versa, if people were to ignore medicine and provide some other visions of the order of medical applications, they would disturb that knowledge. So we have all of those dimensions of human existence with different orders of um, their appropriateness and nature. And if politicians, if politics ignores that, then what is created is this very strange way in which people are unable to solve uh, very simple things like the needs for families to be together or the needs for beautiful communication between leadership and the people and um, the need to um, understand command as a way to relate authority to the right order of things and then if we don't have the respect in that area, then that chaos that uh, is in many places, except the technology world, will continue. And I don't want to live like that. I already know that we can envision beautiful way of looking at the right order of things and then to look at authority and command from that perspective. So 
as we have the situation today, someone gets command and goes out there as a buffoon and just commands and pretty soon things fall apart. But if there is relationship between command, authority and the right order of things, the person will look at the vision of the right order of things and then think about how to apply the authority with the right command. We have to have returned to this. When American founding fathers were creating America, they knew that they, that was only the first step in the process of um, um, allowing the vision of independent America to become reality. They had to fight for it. First, they had to allow themselves to be separated from England, and they were all royal Englishmen. And then they were uh, creating that vision of new order of things that then needed the right authorities and the right command. So they understood what I'm saying. And we have to have that um, conversation about the way in which the vision of orders is created. Because if we don't, it's very difficult to have any social trust. Um, the situation today is that if there is a problem somewhere, then uh, some people gang up together and create a restraining quote order. But it's not an order. It's, it's just a command to block certain things from happening. And th this doesn't have the right order of things. So even the use of the term order in such circumstances is wrong. It already creates messes. The social vision of uh, beauty and virtue would create opportunities to create order between people where it doesn't exist. But order in this way would mean peaceful, harmonious, beautiful way for them to relate. And this doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in, in courts. It used to exist when um, I've been reviewing a lot of history. Some of you know that I used to teach world history. And now I'm looking at history with um, a very different perspective. I've been influenced by my Christian faith and by uh, my love of Israel, and I've been uh, connecting to a lot of the uh, political wisdom from great Christian writers like St. Augustine. And I know that they knew something about the right order of things that is still relevant. But when you read um, those ancient texts, you know that the ultimate way of the right order of things is kingdom of God. So when we have a situation in which that heritage of thousands of years is totally ignored and people just um, want to be commanders or want to command authority without consideration for the nature of order that they are commanding, then we end up in a, uh, in a um, very uh, strange way in which we relate with each other. It's not, not right. So let's um, go back to focusing on how to make it right. 
and um, I know that it's just a matter of intention to look at what is happening in politics and understand that we don't have that uh, vision of the right order of things except technology. That's this huge, wonderful um, oasis of intelligent vision. That's why we have it so successful. And we have to shield it from people who would mess it up with their wrong commands and rules. Um, the second part of this um, definition is to exercise a dominating influence over uh, a situation, um, to have command of such as to have at once immediate disposal, like somebody commands many resources. Um, another uh, way uh, a definition here is to demand or receive as one's due. Um, someone commands a high fee to overlook or dominate from or as if from a strategic position, like the hill that, do that commands the city, and then to have military command of, um, as senior officer um, to command a regiment. So um, I encourage you to continue uh, looking at um, many uh, of those definitions and um, then we, uh, in this particular definition, we are going into the uh, verb of, or, of to command, to have or exercise direct authority to govern. Mm. The king knows how to command well, uh, to give orders. The master commands and the servants obey. To be commander, the general will command at the western front. To dominate as if from an elevated place. So you see here also in the second part of our remarks that the word command is connected to the word govern and it's nicely that um, we have here the mention of the king the king knows how to command well the traditional understanding of a king was that um, a king was not obeyed unless the king ruled with the spirit of god when you study history of Israel, you know it very clearly. So that governance, the command came through the person selected to be king through the choice that God gave that person. And that command was uh, in the vision of the right order of things from God. A traditional uh, understanding of a person who is king meant that he, uh, in some situations it was a female, uh, had a heart of love for everybody in the, in the realm. So that command of a king, the governing uh, power of a king, had to be connected with loving heart. Um, and somehow we forgot about that. Many people think that politics should only about uh, should be only about choice, election choice, electoral decision making. Uh, nobody pays attention to the heart of the leader and to even discerning who is king. And there is always king, even if people don't recognize that person or uh, those people who are appointed by God and they have to do what they have to do because God commands them to do it but then they are unhappy and unhappy ruler has difficulty connecting his or her loving heart to the people this is something also that we should have knowledge about in politics because if 
the vision that blocks the right order of things and promotes all kinds of messes is because the rulers appointed by God are suppressed or ignored or um, um, disrespected, then we can also have a situation that we are dealing with God's curse on that relationship between command, authority and the right uh, vision of things. So the mess would be God's curse and the way to make it right is to repent to God for ignoring his ways and to come back to the vision that God has for us and to people who have hearts of a king to love us and to create the command not from anger not from self-righteousness but from loving heart and feelings of a loving heart agape love divine love that can be received by those that are ruled so i hope that you enjoyed those remarks i encourage you to study that word command and all kinds of relationships um, to those things that are commanded and um, i'll be looking so seeing you next week for another edition of Happiness in the City as we will continue our wonderful journey through the um, landscapes created by words that we use in our ordinary language. Thank you so much and um, I would like to end with wishing us all beautiful vision 